Hello children, already I started arithmetic progression, first chapter. You know what is general formula for nth term of an AP, that is a is equal to a plus n minus 1 into t. And general terms of an AP also you know, that is a, a plus t, a plus 2d, etc. Uh, we can find out, today I am going to explain, we can find the sum of the same terms of an AP. So, we can derive one formula to find out sum of n terms of an AP. First, we will consider one example. By seeing the example, by applying the same technique to find out the formula, we can find out the formula to find out sum of n terms of an AP. So, I am going to explain now. Equation 
sum of natural numbers. We can say natural numbers are to find out sum of positive integers. Positive integers are nothing but natural numbers. So to find out sum of natural numbers, we have to use the formula that is S n is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2. So please children, you have to remember the formula. So easily uh, read uh, and write daily. Many times you read and write, write and practice. Sometimes you know, uh, you cannot write and you cannot practice. Only if you pass and go, writing it becomes problem. Where the bracket it comes, where multiplication you have to do it, where you have to write division sign. So you get confusion. So better you have to practice by writing. All these formulas if you know, it becomes very easy for you to solve the sums. Okay children, copy down this much now. Children now, a day I explain now how to derive formulas and which are the formulas we are going to use to find out sum of n terms per day. By using all these formulas, we are going to solve 1.3 size. First we need to do is find the sum of the following entries. They give find the sum of the following entries. They give one AP for us. First main, first question. They give an AP and we have to find out sum of 10 terms of this AP. So now, when they give like this way, you have to think now. So you will come to know by saying this AP, A value. A value is Minus 33 minus 
minus of I to subtract, be careful. In second term, I to subtract first term. So minus 33 plus 37. In 37, if you subtract 33, you are going to get 4. D value will get it 4. So substitute D value as 4. A value we know minus 37. A value we know now 4 terms. Substitute all the values now. And simplify. We get the answer now. 2 and the 2 6 are. Sum of 4 terms is equal to 6 into. Multiply now. Negative sign is there. And minus into plus minus. 2 7 is 14. 2 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7. Here 12 minus 1 is 11. Into 4, then multiply and simplify. Sum of 12 terms is equal to 6. Here minus 74 plus 11 for the 44. Then you subtract now. 1 is having minus sign, 1 is having plus sign. So you can subtract in minus 74, you can subtract 44. The bigger number sign is minus. 4 minus 4 is 0. 7 minus 4 is 3. If you multiply, then you are going to get somehow 12 terms of this AP minus into plus minus 6 0 0 6 3 is up 180. Somehow 12 terms of this AP we go to get minus 180. So what is again I am going to repeat now. See so now they gave APs, heading is final sum of the following APs. They gave one AP, 2, 7, 12, 2, 10 terms. I will find out sum of 10 terms uh, sum by using this AP. So we know now by using this AP we will come to know first term value is uh, 2 and uh, D value in the second term is applied first term and get D value 5, N value 10 and we have to use to find out sum of 10 terms uh, of an AP uh, when they are given A value, N value, D value. So common I is S is equal to N by 2 into 2 A plus N minus 1 into B. Substitute all the values and simplify, we get 245. This is the formula we have to use it to find out sum of n terms of an AP when we know A value, N value, and D value. The same formula, the same type question, but the terms are your negative terms. Be careful when negative terms it comes. Here, see the same formula I used. By using this AP, I will come to know what is the value of A minus 37. D value subtract minus 37. So minus 33, subtraction is minus. So minus 33 minus of minus 37 because in minus 33 you are subtracting minus 37. So minus 33, subtraction is minus i. Once again minus 37, it becomes plus 37. So d value becomes 4. And subtract all the values and simplify now. Uh, you will get to the sum of all terms of an AP as 180. Please children, take out from book and always you have to sit with your notebook and one pen. You have to write and you have to practice. While doing work, you also do it. And the same time, other two sums are there. One is decimal number and another one we gave. Yeah. Now, the same name, first pay only, continuation only. I am going to do third question. The same method, same formula I will use it. But the terms are in the decimal form. Be careful when the terms are in decimal form. So first to term of mathematics, A value 0.6, D value to find out means in second term you have to subtract first to term. So in second term you have to subtract first to term. Then in 1.7 you have to subtract 0.6. You will get D value as 1.1. And to 100 terms of 100 terms you have to find out this code. Number of terms n value is 100. And so you are using the same formula only to find out sum of n terms of an AP. When we know a value, b value, or n value, you are using the formula s n is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Substitute n is 100 because it is 100 100 terms sums. Then a value 0.6, 2 into 0.6 plus n value 100 minus 1. D value 1.1 is subtracted with what is 1.1 substitute and simplify what is the inside rocket. See 100 is both in the tables too. So we can divide 2 1s are 250 is the 100. Then multiply 2 into 0.6 when you multiply you get 1.2. 100 is 
100 minus 1 is 99 into 1.1 and 50 1.2 thus after multiplication of these two terms it becomes 108.9 be careful when the decimal numbers are there while keeping while putting the decimal point be careful you have to put properly so 50 into 110.1 you can multiply these two you are going to get 5505 5.0 0.0 is negligible the only answer is sum of 100 terms of this AP is 5505 the same way is fourth question also there but fourth question terms are in the form of fraction the form of fraction method is same but fractions how to subtract you should know the same formula the first term is 1 by 15 b value of converting second term you have to subtract while subtracting be careful you already know how to subtract the fraction by taking LCM you have to subtract the numerator and you have to subtract in second term first term what is the LCM of 12 and 15 you can find out like this way you will get LCM 60 then you have to make a denominator 60 means you have to multiply this by 5 so the numerator also becomes 5 and here by 4 you have to multiply then it becomes 4 in the numerator when you subtract 5 minus 4 is 1 by 60 d value here becomes 1 by 60 up to 11 terms you have to find out some n value is 11 substitute all the values now and simplify this is 11 by 2 as it is you multiply numerator and numerator in multiplication of fraction you should know you have to multiply numerator numerator and denominator denominator here denominator is not when you see that is 1 and 2 1 is 2 divided by 15 if it goes numerator and denominator it can cancel but it is not going so you can write it as it is 2 1 is 2 divided by 15 plus 11 minus 1 is 10 into 1 by 16 so 10 1 is 10 6 is get cancel you will get after simplification 1 by 6 this is 2 by 15 11 by 2 into 2 by 15 plus 1 by 6 you have to add now these two fraction by taking LCM. What is the LCM of 15 and 6 30? So then I add it. How will I add fraction 30 will add it? After simplification you get 11 by 3 into 9 by 30. So 9 by 30 means 3 3 is 9, 3 10 is 30 goes then it becomes 11 3 is 33 and 2 10 is 20. So sum of 11 terms of an AP I got it 33 divided by 20. Okay, children, practice properly. You should know the formula. Daily write formula and revise in your mind only. Whenever you feel free, uh, today what I learned, every moment you have to recall uh, what you have learned before. So if sometimes you forget this one thing, you start writing and practice it, you become perfect. So happily practice with concentration, all the best for children.